Hey everybody, Danny Ward here. Thanks for joining us. How would you like to generate some effortless power? The type of power with this thing, how many times have you, put in, you found yourself putting so much effort into it and you just, no matter what you try to do, you cannot get any additional yards. Well, one of the things that you might be lacking is you're not having what I call catapult power as one and two, you're not really striking it as consistency as you'd like. So I have got a, such a simple drill for you that can help you experience and feel how to achieve both. So I'm going to share with you in that in this week's training. Before I do that, if you're new to the channel and this is one of your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. Press that little bell button next to the subscribe button to get notified every time I release a video just like this one. Also, with this exact video, I offer free practice plans down below. So if you really enjoy the video and you want to kind of download something to take to the driving range, just hop into the description below. It's completely free and you get to download the full PDF of this, uh, of this lesson. So catapult power, what is it and how can you start generating it? Well, nice and simply is this. I got it originally from going to, uh, with my family to a castle and I saw these great big catapults or, you know, people, you know, the trebuchets on the top, they used to fire these boulders 200, 300 plus meters out into the distance at their enemies, simply like this. They were catapulting, yeah? Now, you can do that too. We want to get this type of catapult in the golf swing. What I find is two things happen, either one, Golfers are catapulting, they are, but they're catapulting in the wrong place. Or two, they just aren't catapulting at all. I don't know if you're the same, but just because they're scared that the ball might go offline, they really want to create a consistent golf swing, they control it way too much like this. And in doing so, they miss out on all this wonderful catapult power that you need. So let me show you one simple exercise that you can do to really, really experience this. And I call it simply striking the match. So I've got a, um, it's an alignment stick, but you can use an old garden cane. And all I want you to do is take up the alignment stick and it's simple as this. I want you to imagine now, you're gonna strike the match, you're gonna light the match. So you just put the match on the ground here, right? Now, and all you're gonna do now is this. As you're kind of lighting up the match, a couple of things start to happen. At the moment of impact with driver, what do we want to have happen? We want the ball opposite our lead foot here, and we wanna strike it with a good, the leading arm and club here needs to be kind of all lined up to here. That's what we're trying to achieve with a driver. Watch how striking the match, it helps you achieve that. As I'm here, look, I'm striking the match. That already is starting to look very similar to what you'd see with a driver position, a great strike. But that's not finished. We want to strike the match, and now we add in the catapult. You don't strike a match going like this. Watch this. We've got it, and then we're going to... Maybe even make the sound effects. You might be kind of auditory and you're learning. So listen to this. I'm there, I am striking the match. I'm not just dragging it. Neither am I doing this. For those of you, if you find that sometimes you're losing a lot of power, I see a lot of golfers doing this. They're coming down here. They get into this flicky position. They're almost a chicken wing sometimes. That is because they use their striking it with the wrong part of the match. When you strike the match, look at it here. We're using this section of the match here, not this section. So I'm striking it and then whipping it. Watch this. We don't want to do this. This looks weird and you can't really strike it like this. We're not trying to strike the match there. Neither are they pushing it. So get this sensation. It's really, really good. Get yourself set here. Feel that motion. There's your impact and and then whip it. Strike it. Make the sound. Then simply grab your driver in this case, we're going to go to irons in a second. It's exactly the same principle. The ball positions forward in our stance here. We're getting ourselves set. Put it down here just initially and then get the sensation of this. Here, there's your driving position. Look, I'm striking it and whoosh, make that noise. Really get that sensation. And when you're ready, go back a little bit further and look and strike the match. Not hanging on, not this. Look at this motion. Strike the match. Maybe that's too fast for you at the moment. Look small and strike. You're going to have to let go. Let's have a look at this. Hit some small shots initially with this. Watch this. Swing back. Strike the match. Really get that sensation. You can always take your time with this. It's a brilliant, brilliant drill to experience the strong strength that impacts here. These lines, this lead arm and club lining up. And also the final whip through. 
These are all gonna help two things, your ability to hit the center of the face, and secondly, obviously, the catapult at the end. Now, let's go back a bit further. We're swinging back. I'm visualizing now this coming, the match striking, this front part, and then away we go. Let's have a look at this. And away we go. So brilliant as well. Look at the backswing here. As we're coming back here, if you're truly visualizing yourself striking this match, you're gonna come down on the right line. If you find that sometimes you come over the top, that doesn't make sense when you're visualizing striking a match. Look at this, there's the match. Look at the angle I'm coming in now. It's very natural. Look how it naturally also helps you to transfer your weight because I'm there and I'm striking it. You really get this sensation and it works for irons too. Let's have a look. So how does this work with an iron? Well, the only difference is because the golf ball is slightly further back, in this case, I've got seven iron, I'm hitting it more back in my stance, more central. All I'm gonna do now is imagine the same thing. I'm gonna end up striking the ball a little bit first. First, so when I strike the mat, I don't get as much as the uplift that I would do with a, maybe a driver, but ultimately I'm still, look, striking it and releasing. I just seem to catch the ball a little bit earlier. So let's have a look at this in action. So I'm swinging back here, I'm coming down, and I'm striking the mat. I'm not doing this, I'm not holding on to that angle. Very important, we don't wanna do that. There's no power in that, there's no extra catapult going on, and I'm certainly not releasing here and hitting the wrong side of that match. Let's have a look at this. Laura's gonna kill me when I take a divot out of this lawn, but hey-ho. So watch this, strike that match. Right, let's summarize. What have we done? There's two things that you're gonna need. You need to be able to strike the golf ball consistently, and then you need to generate catapult power if you wanna combine the two things together. So what are, they, what are we doing? Well, the strike comes from this. Strike, the literally the angle of you striking that match here, this is where strike's gonna come from. The final bit, which is so, so important, is watch this. Not only are we striking it, we are, there's a little, you're releasing the, you're striking it. There's a wiping of the floor, a striking of that floor. That's the catapult, that sensation. We are, what we aren't doing is just going, that won't work, and neither are we just going like this. Very, very important. This is a wonderful image and hopefully feeling that can really, really help you ball striking. What's the difference between an iron and a wood when you're doing this? Simply the ball position and the intent. With an iron, we are Basically, I'll just use it with this so you can see, with an iron, we're catching the ball. The ball's further back in our sense, more central here with a seven iron. And what we're gonna do, we catch it naturally on the way down. So the low point of the club is here before then we get this, this motion. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're kind of, we're, the swishing has just happened just after that golf ball. With a driver, we're now the balls for the forward in our stance. We're still striking the match, but now the low point happens just before the golf ball, before then we, and now when we whip it, we're heading upwards, okay? That's gonna get you launching the ball up in the air. What else can it really help with? Well, if you're slicing the golf ball, hooking the golf ball, watch this. If you're up at the top of the backswing and you found yourself doing one or two things, one, releasing early, well, we've covered that. You're less likely to do that if you're gonna truly try and strike the match on the ground. The second thing, watch this. If you're an over the topper or struggle to transfer your weight correctly, look at this. Just by me trying to strike the match here, look at the difference in the angle. I'm naturally coming down on the right line versus that wouldn't make any sense, was it, if I'm trying to strike the match there. I hope this really, really helps. Of course, look, I've got full practice plan on this exact video in the description below. So go and help yourselves completely free. But until next week, if you're new to the channel, come and join, join us by pressing that subscribe button and the bell. And of course, if you enjoy the training, maybe give it a like and share it with some of your friends who could benefit from this training. But until next week, everyone, have a great golfing week.